don't know. All right, guys, it's about six o'clock on a Wednesday, and uh, I usually don't film these in advance, so that's like a plus one brownie points for me. Anyways, on to the video. So, I'm in here, I'm building my intro because I've got mean neighbors and they're just a bunch of buttholes who aren't nice. I have a couple disclaimers for this video. If you're interested in spray painting, there are two very important things you need. One are like these little goggle things. You can use sunglasses if you want, as long as you're okay with them like getting spray paint on them. Because I don't know if you can tell, but there's a nice film on these glasses because they've been used. So these glasses, great glasses, they're like little goggle things that keep the spray paint from getting in your eye holes. Wow, that, that's good. I like using my eye holes to see and not being blinded by paint. So these important safety first two spray paint is very 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 bad for your lungs so it's good to have protection on your nose and mouth area i suggest a dust catching uh, mask those are like you can get a decent one for like three bucks at walmart uh if you want to spend more money on them they've got these cool like fancy ones that are look like gas masks because they the lower half of your face look really cool, but they're, they they run upward around like, I think last I checked, they were like 15, 20 bucks. I'm not gonna spend 15, 20 bucks just to protect my mouth area when I can spend three. Um, I don't know where my mask is, otherwise I'd be wearing it. Uh, so I really don't recommend doing this, but if you can't get to a store right away and you wanna try this, I, I still recommend waiting till you get to a store, but just kinda pull your shirt up over your nose as long as you don't care about the shirt and this could I don't don't use this indefinitely extra thing I do all of mine on poster board so it's got this matte side it's like paper don't spray paint on that side spray paint on this side it gives you a nicer finish and it doesn't saturate the paper because there's like that little film coating protection thing so it won't be all gross and dirty use the straight side okay See you guys at the end of the video. Gonna go do my thing now. This is a long intro. I'm gonna have to cut some stuff out. Okay. Alright, so the first thing I did was I made my preliminary layer and this is what my sun is going to be and I'm going to cover it with a circle to protect that layer in the areas that I want to and then I'm gonna make my next layer. So I'm honestly really disappointed about this fluorescent orange because that's what was going to make the whole thing pop. What I like about spray painting is it dries really fast so my impatience is fine. So I'm going to do a piece that revolves around a sun looking planet. I would have liked more orange but you know, we'll mess with that again later. So what I'm doing now is I'm spray painting black over the whole thing and this is the next layer that's going to show up and when I remove the circle, the yellow is still going to be there. So here's the thing, when I moved over here, a lot of these colors didn't make it back over with me. So, what to work with for space is black, blue, and white. What I'm doing here is dusting the piece which adds little minuscule flecks of paint that adds a little bit of variation to the background and gives texture. So it's got the dusty look to it. Now we're gonna go to add some stars. What I like to do is I spray this and then you flick it at it. ones up front and then these tiny ones way off in the distance. Ooh, I did not wait long enough for it to dry. Well the past me is trying to figure out how to get the circle off of this piece of poster board, I want to talk a little bit about paint brands because when I started out that was a big question that I had. And when it comes down to it, it really does not matter what paint brand you are using. Walmart brand versus the really expensive $10 paint can, it's going to get the job done, it's going to look the same. It's not the material an artist uses, but the artist itself that makes art great.
pages here that I've crumpled up. I'm using magazine pages to give texture to the sun because I don't want to pull away at very much of the paint. Now if I wanted to reveal the lower layers a lot more, I would use newspaper, which is a technique that is used by a lot of spray paint artists and you'll see it used most often when they are using some sort of paper on their art piece. It's a little rough. Um, but here, I'll show you guys the first piece I ever did with spray paint. Okay, that right there was the first ever piece I did. And I'm really proud of it because it was a start of something great for me. It was almost therapeutic. And also, as crappy as the sky as the surrounding spaces. I, I do a lot of space ones because I they're easy to get back into the flow of things with. Since it's been so long, I was like, okay, space is cool and that, but look at that. I'm i I'm still so I don't remember how I did that. I had so many different circles and layers and junk. And this is actually done on photo paper, because at the time I was just like, hey, let's try it. Look at all these blues. Um I feel like today would have gone a little bit better if I had more colors, but you work with what you got. So, but yeah, I'm just really proud of myself for all the detail that I put into that little Neptune, Uranus, whatever planet. I just recorded a whole bit on my art piece about the stuff I've got hanging up in junk. And honestly, I was thinking about it. I don't want to over bombard this video with stuff. I want to just focus on me talking about spray painting. So, uh, I'll keep in a little part where I show you the first spray paint piece I did, which is hanging up on my wall. But if you guys actually want to see the spaces, I've got two spaces in the house that I've commandeered for art. If you all want to see those spaces, let me know and I can do an art space tour. But I don't want to like shove all these things into this video because someone who maybe isn't subscribed and just wanted to watch the video and then wants nothing ever to do with me ever again isn't interested in my art space. So I don't want to drive away people who would like to see a video and then be like, oh crap, I just have to listen to her ramble forever. So I will do that in another video. If you guys really want that, let me know in the comments below if it's something you enjoyed and give me a big thumbs up. If you liked this video and you want to see more spray paint stuff, I would love to do it. I will probably practice a little bit more before I do another video though, just so I can get back into the swing of things. And I'll see you guys in the next video.